Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me as I explore the wide world of pens. Yeah, it's what I've been saying for a while, but it's still very appropriate and relevant to this channel. Haven't had a pen on a turntable for a while, so I felt this was very worthy of the turntable. And I thought it was elegant, so I needed something other than a crab holding it up, and we have a nice 3D pen holder. This is a unique color. It was a gift from Dean, so it's still not a pen that I purchased recently. I think we need to explore it a little bit more closely. We can appreciate some of the subtleties of that sparkle in this dark gray transparent acrylic. It's a Kaiglu 316. I like them, and this is no exception. They write very well, the great balance, a good variety of nibs, extra fine through the long blade. And therefore you can get some writing variations. And the mediums are quite nice, quite juicy, almost like a broad. So we're going to explore this pen, take a look at its siblings, and take a look at some other pens which might have a little similarity to this sparkly resin. So I'll let you feast your eyes on it for a little bit more, and then we're going to dive in. Buckle up. See you back soon. Nice things about uh, 316 is it's easy to disassemble, at least what I'm showing you here now, which is the more functional disassembly. Nib and feed pull out of this nice nib collar, which has an O-ring down there at the bottom which I think is a great design because it stops ink from getting between this nib collar and a size more fell over and this section so this section has this metal insert into it which some people may not like because it could be a problem if you eyedropper it and this is in touch with ink and it is plated it's nice that they put the model number there on that uh, piece. And they also brand it. And that's glued in place. And there's the threads probably screwed and glued. And then uh, there's threads there to accommodate the nib collar. And they've been using this upscale converter. Again, it's branded. And it does have a similarity to uh, platinum converters. A nice little silicone rubber insert there with a metal band. Very well made. Will have a long life. And as we know, it's easy to disassemble for thorough cleaning. And the removal of that little ball, which I think serves no purpose, at least in my experience. It's very easy then to silicone grease everything. Reassemble. So this pen has a lot going for it when it comes to ease of use and maintenance and everything else. Here you get that nice logo at the top of the cap. As the camera focuses, gives you a good view of it. Different reflections. Let's look inside the cap and see what we can see. I've darkened the room. And we'll play the light on this interesting resin with just a little bit of sparkle in it. Very classic, very nicely done. And an engraved cap band there. If you look on the inside, we'll see the standard machining of that acrylic. You have a ledge in there for the section to seal up against. You have a very small area there for the nib to be in, so I don't expect any drawing out issues. And I have a number of these been inked up for a long time, and I don't have any drawing out issues. Nothing more than you would expect from a pen. It sets for a while with a water-based solution in it. And we'll play the LED on the barrel. Yeah, it would make a great eyedropper because of that transparency there. 
can see how that end cap is screwed on and yes it does unscrew so you can Frankenize these a la Jinhao 100 that Doug did so that's the guts the inside the gory details hope you enjoyed seeing it I'm going to show my 316s in a drawer but this is my pen cabinet lots of drawers lots of pens and I've added an extension here on the top. I'll give you a link in case you would like this design. You could use the drawers as is, but of course I replaced it with those nice corrugated inserts to hold my pens. Great design. I could build these up because they will stack on each other and they're relatively affordable. So here's my pen drawer of 316s. As you can see I have quite a variety of them and I have a bunch of them also inked up and the 316s transition to Chin Hao 100s which I also have a few of those. I'm just impressed with the dual fold design and how it's been interpreted by a number of Chinese makers that have given us a quite a good look at a variety of resins and also some of these you can Frankenize by taking them apart and putting together different colors. I enjoy all of them. So here's some other pens with some sparkle in them. This is one I've had the longest. A Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Nice purple and a subtle sparkle. Very nicely done. Very well made pen, as sailors are known for, and a nice nib. Here's a pen BBS 491. I think this is Midnight Sun, but we'll put the clarification up for you to see. It says more sparkle to it. I've also eyedroppered this pen, and it's been in use since I first got it. It's a nice medium nib. And now the 491s come with a clip, which are currently for sale from PenBBS on Etsy. And then of course here's the 316. So I thought you would enjoy seeing different interpretations of a subtle sparkle in a pen. Two turned acrylics, one injection molded. But each have their own appeal. Do you like them? So this ink called out to me. It's a PenBBS ink. It does have glitter in it, which goes into suspension very easily with a little bit of shaking. It's a very fine glitter, which is great. Expect it will work nice in that extra fine nib. Here's the color card. You might be able to see some of the glitter there. It's not over the top glitter, it's very subtle. And the chromatography shows you get a little bit of glitter here at the bottom. And it's a pretty clean purple color. Let's see how it writes. So now it's time for some editorial comments on this particular pen and the Kaigalu 316s in general. So I'm going to put a link to my 316 playlist. So if you'd like to learn more details, dimensions, specs, see the many incredible varieties of uh, resins that are used and finials and cat bands, etc. But consistently, the pen is a very, very good pen. The cap comes off in eh, two and a half turns. A little bit more than I like, but I can live with it. And I'm 70, so if I can deal with two and a half turns, you youngsters can also deal with it. It fits great in the hand. Feels good. That section's the right size. And if you want to, put the cap someplace, you can put it at the top of the barrel. I wouldn't call it very secure, but for those of you that must post, you could post. But not something I would do. And the weight is really nice. I like the pen. I think that anybody who's watched my channel and seen my other reviews of this model know my admiration for it. I love the dual fold design and yes Parker first came out with it in the 20s 
It was a hit then, and it's still a hit now. Let's put some ink on paper. This is a excellent extra fine nib. As you can probably not hear, it is extremely smooth. And yes, I'm kind of dyslectic right now, but I think you know what the model is. And could you maybe have difficulty finding this particular color? Yeah, probably. I couldn't find it, but there's a whole bunch of other ones to choose from. And I have the extra fine, fine, medium, and long blade in a series of these 316s, and they're constantly inked up and constantly in use, and I constantly enjoy them every time I put nib to paper. I've rated this pen many, many times in the past, so we're just going to give it a big thumbs up, a big recommendation. Again, Pens, fountain pens, are personal items, personal experiences. One man's ceiling is another man's floor. What you love, somebody else could hate. But the real key thing is, is there's so much variety in the wide world of pens. I'm certain that anyone can find a pen that they can fall in love with, put an ink in it, find some paper to write on, and just enjoy. We've come to the conclusion of this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video finds everyone safe, healthy, and happy. Enjoying your pens, your inks, your paper. Putting marks down that may be legible. Sometimes mine are not. I enjoy that, and hopefully you do too. We've reached the end. And we're going to say bye. And my writing is totally degraded. Nib comes off the paper. I tried to be a little bit artistic. As we all can be at times.